Greetings from Shantiniketan Indian School. Reflecting on our Trichy approach to active teaching, which evolved around genuine self-awareness, generous hard work, and generative innovation, we teachers needed to change our styles of teaching to build on competencies of learning, especially on the digital platform. Our teaching styles needed to concentrate more on learning-based activities. In order to do this, we started flipping our lessons and our PowerPoint presentations into the Google Classrooms, where children prepared going through their reading material and came ready for activity-based learning on the digital platform itself. The teachers will now introduce you to some interactive digital tools to enable learning. I would like to present some online templates, how we can modify them according to our students and use them in our Google Classroom. This is the digital notebook template which we can give in our Google Classrooms. We can take the page and add the text box into it. We can add details about the chapter on each page. Now I'll increase the font size. We can make the pages colorful according to the topic. We can change the colors. Now we can make different pages with a different layout. We can change it and we can add more text boxes into it. Now I'll share this template in the Google Classroom. For this, I need to click on share, get link. I'll change it. Options to Shantini Ketan Indian School. I have to make sure that the mode should be editor so that students can edit this file. I can click on copy link. Done. I'll go to the Google Classroom. I'll go to classwork. Here I have already given the topic e-notebook. I can go to create. I can create this file as a material I can assign or as the assignment also I can give it to students. I'll write the title of the assignment and instructions according to my need. Now I'll put that link which I copied from the template here by clicking on CTRL V. Now I'll go to make a copy for each student so that each child will be getting their individual copy. I'll change the points according to my need. I'll give the due date for this assignment and I'll assign this under my topic e-notebook. I can give this assignment to my specific children also for my remedial classes. I'll assign this work as the assignment. Now I would like to show one of my Google Classrooms where I am using this Google Classroom template. So this I can download also and keep it saved for my future use. Here is my Google Classroom where I have already used this e-notebook. I can click on Classwork and go to the specific assignment where I have assigned it to students. Then I have to click and View Assignment. Now I can see all the copies of students and whichever copy I want to see, I just have to click on that. And I can click on this small arrow over here. After a few seconds, you can see all the details like question wise answer. You can see how students are doing. 
and they can add their diagrams, their table, picture, answers, text, anything. Even their voice notes they can add to this e-notebook. So this is the best way how we can keep it downloaded also as Microsoft file or PDF. PowerPoint presentations have become an ingrained part of many instructional settings, particularly in larger classes geared towards information exchange and skill development of children. These presentations can be a highly effective tool in helping the teaching learning process. It, it also helps in creating an impressive uh, teaching environment. It enriches the curriculum. It also increases the visual impact on the students. It helps the students to be engaged actively and focused all throughout the presentation. And above all, it also helps in increasing and developing the reading skills of each and every child. The reading activity this is a fun time activity, we can say. We can write and we can read and we can do the fun with the classroom. This is the fun activity we can say where the students can pick their uh, kind of font style, font art, font colors and they can write about their snowman or it can be anything and we can add some slides with the uh, different parts of that particular uh, uh, object like this is the so snowman so I kept the things according to the snowman so can I can add the eyes according to my snowman how I want it I can make it as a copy to each student so that they can express their feelings about that object so they can write and read about this activity like what they feel how they felt about this person or the cartoon character or their story character and they can feed the details about it so now they can choose the, its hands and they can adjust the arms of it They only need to copy and paste these parts in their slide and on the other side they have to write about this and the teacher can ask them to read about their snowman and then they can click on share get link again we have to change it to Shantini Ketan Indian School and editor mode now copy the link done and we can click on the Google Classroom and give this activity under any topic you can give it as activity you can give us that reading material or some kind of interactive collaborations anything paste the link and post this another reading activity which we can use for library time or any class reading time also in this template we can just link uh, any of the story from Google this is the story page the PDF of the story I'm linking random and uh, like uh, more numbers of stories we can put as a PDF I can take the link of the PDF file and I can paste the link over here on my particular page this is the slide number two where I'm pasting the page so here is the link of the PDF file from Google I have pasted I'll uh, write the name of the story somewhere now if I present this to students how they'll go to each page I can click on cross and I can click on the particular student name like the same way how I assign this PDF link I can give many links to each slide so I'll be directly going to that page and student will be reading that story. I can give some questions according to this in some other applications and I can ask them to read the story. So like this we can give like student number one, number two, number three. All the students we can assign one specific story and they can read their individual story. Same way I'll be clicking on share, Shantiniketan Indian School and copy the link. 
I'll go to create. I'll give it as material because I just only want them to read the story. I can give it as assignment as well. Now reading assignment, I'll put my title. I can put the instruction according to my story and I can give the link here. I'll paste the link by CTRLV, add link. I can make it make a copy for each student or I can make it as a collaborative activity for whole class. Now student can view this file only and I can give it to specific students for reading activity also and assign. This is introducing videos in PPT which is a part of the interactive PowerPoint presentation that makes things more simplified and convenient. We can compile the video content in the PPT on different slides giving you the feel of watching TV. You must have observed when we are showing our students some of the educational videos like some exercises or something. So sometimes we have to struggle like to search the video on the spot from Google. So what we can do, we can keep it in some interactive PPT and these such kind of interactive PPT. This PPT template, there are the television screen which we can see. We can edit the videos which they have already given. We can click on insert then video. Then the link we can paste which we just now copied from Google. We can click on YouTube video link and select. Just after a few seconds we will get the video here on in the template and then we can adjust the size of it. Now we have to right click on it. We have to click on order and send to pack so that the channel, channel number will be visible to the students. Now I'll present to show it how it will look. So we can ask students to click on the remote channel number like if, it is, if they are clicking on 0 then they will not be watching anything. If they are clicking on 1 they will be going straight to the video and we can play it. So like this we can add the channel details like what type of video you are going to watch on the particular channel. So that we can set it on menu screen. Now once everything is set up we can close the TV. Now how to share this in the Google Classroom we have to click on share. Now again Shantini Ketan Indian School. Here we have to make sure what is the purpose of this PPT template. If we want children to edit in this, we can make it as editor. Otherwise, we can keep it as viewer also. Now click on create. We can give it as assignment or else as a material as well. Now after adding the title and the description, we can click on the add link and CTRLV for pasting the link. Once it is done, it is given to the to all the students. We cannot make it as copy because we have taken it as material. Now I have assigned it under the topic and post. So once it is done, we can click on it directly and see this how it looks.